Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Dead Space 3. Oh, I saw you. Oh, right. Uh... Yeah, drop one of those. Oh, I've got another thing. Right. There's a bench. Cool. Uh, right, safe. There we go. Uh, right, back. Craft. One of those. Yeah, we'll have one of those. Just go grab, make as much ammo as I can. There. I think that will do. Yeah, there we go. Got a good mix there, I think. Hey! How do you miss with a shotgun? Okay, well, I'm already not very impressed with the shotgun. God damn it. Alright, back down. Are you so hopeless at shooting? God 
Damn it, don't know what the hell that thing. Jesus. There you go, go and explore. Heavy standard frame, nice, thank you. Okay, so the shotgun does do a fair bit of damage, it's just really slow at reloading. And the rate of fire is crap as well, so that needs to be improved significantly. Oh, this again. Bloody things.
Oh! Oh shit, eight! Fuck! Don't fucking quit! I don't- I, I don't want to go down that fucking shaft again! Oh fuck you! Oh, fucking damn it. Bloody things. I hate them. What what was that? Give me No. Jesus Christ. Where is everyone? All dead. Isaac Clark? He shot the rest. Then radio for reinforcements! But how will they reach us? We can open the ventilation systems from in here. They're apart, the dropships! Do it now! You sound a little pant there, Danik. Isaac, you alright? Carver, he's here. He's headed to the machine. Can you reach him? I'm trying. to Find a way into the city. We'll try to meet up on the way. Oh, there's a thing there. Thank you. Right, need to turn the generator on. Excellent, right. Uh. 
Yeah, do reload and damage, and then damage and clip. Rate of fire. Uh, damage and clip. There we go. Uh, rate of fire. One rate of fire and a clip. Add reload. Two clips and a reload, or two reloads and a clip. We'll go with that one. There we go. Alright, that should hopefully improve that weapon a bit. Yep, okay. Reloads faster. Perfect. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be the last episode either. Personal log, Serrano. The cranium of the species contains six holes, each a passage leading into leading to a resonance chamber not unlike our own nasal cavity. When air is blown through the holes, it passes through a, a phonic membrane that then vibrates and modulates the sound. By opening and closing various membranes, notes are produced. This coincides with a written script observed carved into the surfaces of many of the structures we've uncovered. It isn't so much a written language as it is... Uh, pronunciate a uh, pronunciations key there appear to be six basic letters or notes in the language simple to be sure but by combining notes new meaning is conveyed thus there is a notation indicate indicating how long to hold each note now it is highly unlikely that the species would have been would need a pronunciation guide for its own language in fact it appears to have been added as an afterthought as if they knew they didn't have long to live and they needed to communicate something very important to whoever discovered their world. In a way, this notation was left for us as a way for them to speak to us from beyond the grave. Spoopy. That looks like I might need to, to do something with it. Shape and moon in orbit. That's what controls the markers. It's the end state of these creatures, or rather, it would have been. You see, the natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid formation, but it wasn't enough. Even half formed, the moon's marker signal speaks to the markers back home, and it doesn't end there. There is a network of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one completes, it connects to this network making them aware if this moon should complete its brothers will all come looking for food but there is hope the natives never finished configuring the machine it wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon it was meant to destroy it you'll need the codex it is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare carver did you hear that the machine can crush the moon. It just needs to be properly configured. What about Danik? Stopping Danik won't be enough. We need to get that codex back. It's the key to reconfiguring the machine. But Serrano's locked the passage using some kind of alien glyphs. I'm gonna look for a way to bypass it. Open. Taking a picture there. Okay.
Okay. Oh, is it? Whoa. Promise me something. If I don't make it, you'll get this done, right? We'll get this done, Carver. You and me. Yeah, but if I don't... I helped get us this far. And that's close enough for all this to count, right? Count for what? All the bad I've done. Oh, shut up, Carver. You're a good man. I alienated my son. Wrecked my family. Isaac, I killed Santos. Is that what a good man does? Good men mean well. You just don't always end up doing well. Sorry about Ellie, man. Me too. Me too. Oh, Carver. This way. Clear that rubble. Look, it's Dan. It's not too late. We're turning back now, right? Let's go get that codex. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. The final push. Danik, you have to stop. Isaac, is that you? You are unbelievably hard to kill. Are you aware of that? Danik, do you know about the moon? Do you know what it is? Part of the miraculous ecosystem, I assume. It's alive, Danik. It's hungry, and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it free. And then it and all its brothers find our markers, find us, and wipe us out. How can you presume to know its intentions? You fear it because you don't understand it. Danik, hear me out! Danik, are you listening to me? Motherfucker! Okay, I clearly need this for something. Ah, here we go. Oh shit. Oh wait. There you go, little dude. Boom! Isaac, he's 
getting away. Hang on. I got a plan. Right. I need another one. What plan? We're pretty much just making this episode go along. Damn right, I am a filthy heretic. Right. I'm going to end this episode here because I'm not sure. I really don't know how much longer this is going to go on for. If the next episode is a shorter one, I might just tag it on to the end of this one. But for now, I'm ending this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be sick for later. This has been Dead Space 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.